Hey, I can do video blogs. Good day, and welcome to another episode of Jimmy Jaunt. So on today's ride, I was meeting up with Robert. Uh, nobody else was going to be riding, so I figured we'd go over to our normal gas station, see if anyone else happened to show, but if not, then Robert and I were going to take a ride up to Micanopy. Now Jeff with the Oviedo Riders Group had originally planned to go to Micanopy, but I don't know what happened, but he canceled late uh, Friday night. So Saturday, got up, gave Robert a quick text or call, and he said he was up for a ride, so I texted a few other people, and only Robert showed, but uh, we met up for coffee, had our gas tanks filled, and had a little something to eat, and then we headed out to Micanopy. So we started out and headed out on 46, and Robert got a little antsy, I think. I think he hadn't been on the bike for a while, or I hadn't seen him a couple weekends, so I think he had some energy in him. So he got off to a good start and headed out towards the east and a little bit north. So I came around the corner, got a little bit headed north a little bit, and uh, pretty much right off the way Robert took off, I could tell that it was going to be a catch-up day. So this uh, video is going to be the rabbit and the tortoise. And as you guessed, I'm the tortoise. So here are some quick shots. You can see Robert taking the lead, pulling away from me. Um, once in a while, that's fine. He can get his speed up. He's very conscientious of uh, riders behind him, so he won't usually make a turn without waiting. And sure enough, I got up to the intersection where I thought he was going to turn on to 42 and sure enough he was waiting and the light changed just as I approached so we continued up on to head a little bit back towards the east but or a little bit back towards the west but still heading north and again the rabbit took off So on this point I was driving and I found him. He was in a little rest area so when I went past I stayed a little slower and he went ahead and caught up and passed me and he continued on. <laughs> he really wanted to get some speed in today. And at this point I had completely lost sight of Robert. So I just continued on the road, uh, 42, kept going, and at some point I came up to a gas station that we usually stop at, and uh, sure enough, he was there in the parking lot waiting for me. So I pulled in, as soon as I got there, he pulled up, and we continued on our route. So we got through the gas station and turned back on to 19 North. This would take us up into the Ocala Forest, Ocala National Forest area. So we came across a vehicle that was going a little bit slower than the speed limit, so we went ahead and passed them. And of course, the hare took off. And off and he kept going. So we made our way up through Ocala Forest and wound up around Lake Kerr. Um, this place, Tom and I had visited this camp. This is Moorhead uh, boat ramp and uh, Tom and I had visited here probably about two months ago and there was maybe one or two other trailers but other than that uh, people pretty much steadily came in and out with their boats but uh, I've never seen it this busy. Yeah, this is Memorial Day weekend so the Saturday before or the Saturday of Memorial Day weekend so 
I'm sure everybody was out on the water with their friends and family. And of course, once the sheriff cleared, the hair was off again. And here's another example. We turned off of the roadway onto one of the side streets to get towards Mechanope, and Robert just had to hit the pedal. <laughs> I'm glad he had fun. And we had gone past a uh, l another little boat ramp or picnic area, so Robert decided to turn around, and uh, we went in there to kind of check out what the surroundings were like. It was a nice little park, uh, had a boat ramp, had some picnic areas, even with shelter area. And it uh, would be nice to come back here and maybe just make this a day trip, either here or Moorhead Lake boat ramp, Moorhead boat ramp, and just uh, settle and have a little picnic and kind of relax under the shade. And then we pulled into Micanopy, found our parking spots, close to coffee and cream where we usually have our dessert but I found they have a really good lunch menu so I've been having the uh, chicken salad sandwich and I don't recall what Robert had but as we were there we met up with some people that if you had noticed when we pulled in there were a row of bikes that we parked next to uh, we sat next to them at the table and uh, Russell in video up front here he was the leader of their group, they had about seven people. Uh, an eighth rider had taken off already, a uh, Harley rider, but most of them had uh, GSs or about 700 to 900 cc um, Hondas, Yamahas, a very good group of guys. And uh, so we decided they offered to have us tail along, so Russell led us out of Micanopy and tried to show us some new roads that we might not have been on before. And he did show us some really good roads. Uh, he's been in the area for about 20 years, so he knows the area. And it was nice to meet him and also find out about some roads that we didn't know about around Micanopy. So Russell took us off some of the not-so-common paths. And it was kind of neat because they got the road's width got less and less as we went further. It seemed like we were going from, you know, two lane highway to maybe a county road to maybe a city road, almost getting less than a, a car length's width, all the way down to, I think, a couple turns here. Uh, we get into a road that looked like an alleyway, like a single vehicle road. And then further down, we even got to a path that looked almost exactly like an alley, or a, definitely a road that wasn't traveled very much, because you'll notice the narrowness and all of the pine needles on both sides. I mean, I wouldn't want to take an F-350 down this, because I don't think he would fit, or he would be taking up the entire road. I mean, this is barely wide enough for two motorcycles to pass. He took us a little further south and he found a... Basically, it's a, like a ranch that they raised these animals for zoos. They had camels, they had zebras, um, a lot of little animals that looked like antelope or gazelle. But uh, we pulled off and... Uh, took a quick look at some of the animals and even had the zebras as soon as we parked we looked off and the zebras started walking towards us so they must be getting fed quite often by visitors that come through here so a couple of the riders walked up and just got up to the fence line and sure enough the zebras came walking on over expecting food I bet but at least they got greeted and had their bridge of their noses rubbed <laughs> they were very nice animals it was a cool spot I never would have known that was here and then Russell led us back through um, 
his tunnel of trees. I mentioned that I like for Floral City because of the avenue of trees. And he said he had one that was a little bit better, so this is it. And I have to admit, it's much nicer because there aren't houses on the sides. This is uh, next to forest or wildland. So, and it also goes on quite a bit wide, quite a bit longer too. It was a nice ride. I really enjoyed uh, seeing these areas and it makes a definite point where I'll have to come back and try to find them again. I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to download the GPX file for my GPS. I was hoping I could, but I haven't figured that out quite yet, so I'm going to have to do some exploring, which is perfectly fine. Each uh, weekend I could take a day and just uh, come out here and see what I can find, see if I can refine these routes. So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch the other videos that I produce. All right. Thank you and have a great day.